Hi, thanks for joining Ken Beer Reviews today. Right, today I've got another beer from a very local nano brewery to me, um, about two miles up the road. You can't get them anywhere apart from really locally. I mean, I live in Ramsgate. Um, John, the guy who brought this round, he goes, he does the Cliftonville Farmers Market, uh, although he's not going to be there for a little while. Um, I got talking to him on Twitter and I said look I'm going to try and get hold of some of your beers when you're next over there, he goes I'm not there for a while, I'll bring a couple of bottles around. Excellent, really kind of you, thank you. So this is By The Mile Brewery, I think he's using the same label for each beer. Uh, this beer wasn't actually on untapped or rate beer, uh, South Cliff Strong Pale Ale this is, coming in at 7% ABV, so that's a big pale ale. Um, this has got a best before the 7th of July of 2017. Um, I think it's batch number 11. So this contains malted barley. Nice yellow bottle cap. Let's crack this open then. So 7% parallel. Wow. Lots of smoke. It's beer in a glass. So this is more ABV wise into the IPA range. So I'll just let that settle a minute. So it's quite carbonated, nice carbonation running through the beer. I'll let that settle down for a minute. It may be the style of glass I'm using for this, but yeah, it is quite carbonated. It's uh, just over a finger of white frothy head. Let's give it a swirl and a sniff. I'm intrigued by this one. I don't know what hops he's used or anything. Picking up almost on the nose anyway at least like pears. Slightly earthy again. I don't know, it's like it almost gives me the impression it's got like some kind of saison yeast or something going on in this. Slight lemon kind of uh, pith. I don't know. Interesting. Just by the given it, you know, the the uh, the head and the carbonation. Hmm. We'll see. Let's give it a try anyway. Cheers, cheers, John. Go again. There's a nice uh, pine element to the beer. Slightly piney, dry, like a dry hop with something. I'm not sure what it is. It's all guesswork. I've got no information to go on. It's almost like a blind review, really. Slightly, uh, there's a nice bitter back end to the beer. As I said, quite earthy, but it's a nice almost pininess. Whether, that, whether that's the dry hopping, it tastes like it's dry hopped. I mean, I've, it's very difficult to know, so I'm sure John will tell me that I'm wrong, but I, I, you know, doesn't bother me. I generally am, so. When I get something right, it's, it's um, generally a fluke, to be honest with you. But yeah, this is really drinking nice. Seven uh, percent. Yeah, again, you're not that, not having none of that. It's drinking more like a five, something like that. Pick it up, pear. Be really interested to know what yeast is used in this. It's a nice kind of lemony colour. Mmm. Really got me thinking that has. Oh, 
it's not quite, yeah, it's look at that. Carbonation is just rolling up there. Almost like a, a Saison kind of, or a, I don't know if it's a Belgian, no, I wouldn't think it's a Belgian yeast. So this, this is bottle conditioned. Well, that's clouded up a little bit. Back to a one finger white head. Really nice. Really enjoying it. It's got that, a slight funkiness going on. Hmm. It's got, a, as I keep banging on about it, it's got that Saison esque edge. Or Belgian esque edge. It's like almost like a mix between the two in the yeast strain. But very floral, slightly woody, dry. I don't know what the IBUs are. If I was guessing at the IBUs to this, I would probably place it around about 60-65 guess but yeah it's really nice so I, I really do appreciate um, John bringing this round it's really kind of you it's a really it's, it's a really interesting parallel because I saw the, the ABV and I thought wow that's seven percent parallel and there's a lot of English IPAs that are not even that kind of ABV I mean I've seen IPAs in the UK I don't know, 3.8, 4% IPAs, and that you know, more, they're more kind of in the parallel range, for, you know, what I what I'd be used to seeing an, an IPA with, and then an IPA 4.5, 5.5, something like that, 7%. Hmm, very enjoyable though. Very enjoyable. It's almost there's a slight kind of um, I don't know if. It reminds me of, of, it's probably not, it reminds me slightly of some possibly um, Australian hops in this, or New Zealand hops, it probably hasn't, but it reminds me, I don't know if it's got potentially Magnum hops in it, I don't know, I don't know, it's just, it's one of them beers that, it's enjoyable, I'm really enjoying it, anyway, rating then. Yeah. To me that's an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 for me. Um, a 90, 90 out of 100 for sure. Um, this is the second beer that he, he's given me that I've, I've now reviewed. Um, I've, I've just put them up onto Untapped because they weren't listed. Um, and, and the brewery is not even listed on Rate Beer. So it's a very kind of new, the last six months, a year kind of process kind of thing probably six months something like that but yeah anyway this is south cliff strong parallel coming at seven percent it's the same label as the beer i reviewed before um it's an eight out of ten from me so if you're very local in the fanny area um and you've had these beers or any other the other beers i think um one of my other friends has, has had a few of this brewery's beers so um let us know what you think um yeah, I put the information uh, for the brewery down in the description box below. Um, if you're new to the channel and you just happen to come across this by mistake or whatever, um, and you're still here, please subscribe, that'd be great. Thanks for watching, give us a thumbs up, and thank you John, and I'll see you on the next review. Cheers.